Hello, my friends. Today I have a little lesson and also a question for you uh, for feedback. So the lesson here is the most important incremental training you will ever do in your brain rewiring practice is to incrementally train yourself to be able to be in certain brain states. Let me explain. So in programs that introduce this idea of incremental training, the brain science behind it is that the brain creates associations based on our emotional state. And it's our association to something based on whether or not we're in a state of fear and threat while we're exposed to this stimuli versus when we're in a positive emotional state. When exposed to the same stimuli, that, that emotional state is what creates the association and therefore our physiological biochemical response to that thing. Now, an easy way to, an easy example of this, if this is a new concept for you, would be you know, your association to something like bees or dogs, right? If you like dogs a lot and you've never had a bad experience with one, when you see a dog, you probably are going to be excited. You'll probably feel happy. You'll have happy chemicals flooding your brain. You'll feel joy. Now, if you had a bad experience with dogs or same thing goes for bees, if your association with bees is like, yay, honey, you know, pollination, yay, planet, then you're going to be happy when you see bees. If you've been stung or you're afraid of them or you're allergic to them or you've had a bad experience with a dog, when you see a dog or a bee, you're probably going to have a, di a, a completely opposite chemical response. You're going to go into a state of fear, constriction, fight, flight, freeze. Your body's going to be pumping out messages of danger danger within yourself in response to the exact same stimuli. So that's the, that's the idea here that we're using to change our, our body's biochemical and physiological response to things like foods, smells, chemicals, activities like driving or walking, certain people, you name it, whatever's gotten crosswired, whatever your, your system is reacting to, that's the foundational scientific understanding of what we're trying to do and we're incrementally training on something. Now, as you can tell, so, so how that works, though, is that what we're saying is I can control the brain state I'm creating consciously. I get to decide. So if I, like, for example, I needed to train on walking, right? My brain was crosswired with walking. So I, and, and standing too. So I had to train on those things. And I would do, you know, I would elevate my state. I would do visualization before I went to get into a really elevated, positive, healthy pathway. Go take that walk while staying in a new, positive elevated pathway by listening to music, focusing on the flowers and the trees around me, and then coming back and doing more visualization to keep my brain on that new positive pathway so that the whole experience was, I am in joy and happiness while I'm doing this and I'm creating all this positive chemistry and my brain gets the signal and I create this new association that this is a positive experience that's safe for me. Now, all of this hinges on your ability to generate a positive brain state. <laughs> using your attention and willpower and an understanding that you are free to create your brain state from your attention. You're not chained to previous associations or feelings about something just because even if that thing has caused you extreme discomfort or pain many times, you still have a choice that you can create a different state around it. It's radical. And again, this hinges on the ability to access brain states like joy, like calm, like confidence, like feeling that you have a sense of agency and willpower and you can trust yourself to be able to create this new experience. So the ultimate, you know, for, for a lot of the people I work with, it's not so much that and part of it is we're, we're in a negative state all the time when we have limbic impairment. When we're in stuck in a stress response all the time, everything's getting crosswired as negative. And when we're in a positive state all the time, everything gets wired with a positive association. Neurons that fire together, wire together. If you're always calm or happy, then everything around you is going to be seen as positive by your brain and safe. So my approach to brain rewiring and healing from chronic illness and incremental training is cultivate a positive brain state and make that the main focus because it's not about the triggers. They're specific to each person and they can be somewhat random. So it, it's just totally a matter of like, you know, price is right. This happened to be the thing in your environment that got crosswired when you were, you know, in your perfect storm or having a really neuroplastic moment in a negative emotional state and then bam, you know, that chair got crosswired. I mean, I'm making that up, but that could be a thing. So the bottom line, I'm going to be doing a a workshop on creating new brain states because a lot of the people I work with, including myself, have never been calm. We don't know how to do that. We don't know what that feels like. And, and or there's other states like feeling good about yourself, 
a lot of times negative self-talk is a big part of what keeps us in a loop. Feeling shame, feeling not confident, feeling victimized and powerless, feeling, you know, all these negative states. So how can we cultivate confidence and joy and calm and a state where we feel good about ourselves? We have a positive relationship to ourselves. States like even bliss or euphoria, um, anything, anything positive along those lines. And that's my question for you is, of the states I mentioned, or are there other states that you have personally not ever experienced or haven't been able to sustain over time? And whether you realize it or not might be necessary for you to reach recovery is to be able to cultivate a lasting state of calm or a lasting feeling of feeling good about yourself or a lasting, you know, an ability to understand how to cultivate joy or how to build confidence. So that's my question for you is what states you struggle with the most? Because as I'm engineering this, I'm going to work on the ones I've got, but as I'm engineering this workshop, I would love to hear what you guys haven't experienced in your journeys, what you need more information to learn about how do I access a stable state of calm and confidence or something along those lines. So drop a note in the comments and let me know. Love you guys.